mad. What? Where did he get this from? Good morning, everyone. And today we have someone very special coming to pay us a visit. A guy called Mars Bar. He's a really successful YouTuber. However, he hasn't been so successful in installing an audio system into his Defender. Bruh. As you'll see in today's video, it's not as easy as it looks, but he's just arrived. We're gonna go see him and meet him and then go listen to what he's done. Okay, so we're gonna have a listen to the system that I have installed inside <laughs> of this car. Not sure if I've got the crossovers right. <laughs> we're gonna, we'll find out, we're gonna strip it all down and check. Just check your work. Yeah, just, <laughs> oh God, just listen to this because it's gonna vibrate the hell out of the chassis. It's pretty bad already at this point. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It sounds dead, doesn't it? it? Does. <laughs> oh my God, ready? <laughs> Oh, I'm not good at this. It's a rattle, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of wrong. Yeah, it's a lot of wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's a lot of wrong. Oh, yeah. God. I want to go listen to something nice. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's a Rover, and they come with umbrellas. 2018 in that push Corolla. Go your pouch. Yeah. Rats in a quarter ounce. Yeah. Two accounts. Yeah. Large amounts. Yeah. Ooh. Shop around. Yeah. Design it down. So how does that compare to yours? <laughs> mind absolutely blown. My mind has been like absolutely frazzled. Nothing in here is vibrating. Nope, nothing. And I don't think you can even get across on camera how loud that is. Absolutely insane. I've literally never heard anything like that before and that's really saying something. So after listening to the demo car, we had a chat and decided on what to go for. And trust me, we're gonna put some incredible speakers in that Defender. First, we need a plan. So imagine this is the boot or trunk of the car. We'll need to fit a sub in there, then some tools, that power strip, and finally amplifiers, processors, and other bits and pieces. So let's open it up and plan where everything is gonna go. For the power outlet, Carl is gonna build this small storage area. And by the way, everything is gonna be built out of wood. Next, the sub is gonna sit a little to the left and pointing up. For the tools, we're gonna to build two shelves like this, and we're gonna leave some space below them so the amp, processor, and other components can fit below it. And one thing we can't forget is our logo. So we're gonna be mounting that somewhere around here. So that's the plan. Now look where Mars put the sub before. It literally sits on a seat like that. <laughs> and the boot, look at it. The components are just loosely lying around. We can't fix all of that. This is the big reveal. Let's see what Alex has put as soundproofing. So this is not gonna help with rattles at all. So to make it sound crisp and clear, we're gonna change over those tweeters from the stock ones to the new Hertz ones. Alex wanted to see the tweeters instead of the grills, so we designed a custom housing, 3D printed it, polished it up, and painted it so it matches the exterior silver color. So that's the seat removed. I've now got access to all of the wiring and the background here. The next thing is to get rid of this thing. Oops. Sorry, Steve. Right, now that's out of the way, I'm gonna start putting our cabling in and I'll have it all nice and neat, tidy, and run along next to all the manufacturer's wirings. So we'll see that in a second.
really coming to life and there's not much left to do. Now we trim all of the wood so it matches the interior and looks nice. So the install is finally finished. Now to get the best out of those speakers, we need to tune the system. We'll talk about that later with Mars Bar. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm so excited. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, go on then. Oh my god. No way. Mate, you've chiseled in. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> That's my power strip. I mean, wow, bro. This is all custom, isn't it? Yeah, so everything, everything here has been custom built, so. Your inverter previously uh, was just all wired in and kind of loose. So that's all mounted actually underneath here. Uh, and then there's a little rocker switch here. So then that turns on, the light turns on. That's so linked to the it's, inverter. But it's on a permanent feed, so you can have it when it's off as well. So no then way. Just, then this cable that we've got dangling here, that'll come out. That's basically so we can tune it with you. Yeah. Uh, so obviously you sent over some songs. We've tuned it for that. Wow, um, wow, so wow, wow. I've got I've got my my playlist for you because this has been done so well. It's hard for me to remember what it was like before. Yeah, it was just yeah, a big yeah. void, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, it was literally just a hole. In this. As well as the sound system, I'm just looking forward to to, to hearing it without any sound on. Yeah, yeah. you know the ro the road noise and that. Yeah, like you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Like, does yeah, it make yeah. much of a difference? Yeah, massive, massive. So like on the previous shape defenders, which were obviously a lot noisier than these. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's it's like driving a tractor and then driving a car. So like this is non soundproof. Rattly. <laughs> Wowzers. He's, me he's meant wow. to. Wow. I've got a question for you though. Go on. Uh, does your loft have any insulation left in it? Because <laughs> we found quite a lot in here. I had some, I had some kicking about in the garage yeah. and I was like, anything is going to help this car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was just like we're, stuffing it. We opened up the door and we were like, what? what? Where did he get this from? Did so as a bit of a that? background, I did some stuff to this car, which you would have said is really quite bad, I would assume. To be fair, to be fair to you, it's actually better than some of the installs we've seen from other companies. But it wasn't great. It, was, it wasn't, you, you had the fundamentals-ish there. But like, honestly, it's, it was, we were actually, so I was expecting quite bad, but it was actually not too, it wasn't too bad. Okay, okay, that makes me so feel it, a little it, bit it better. It was actually quite good. Okay. We were, we were all quite impressed with your work, actually. Okay, we were like, fair. Yeah, so it was. Um, I, did, I, did, I did do a little bit of research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> honestly, I mean, it was honestly, we've seen, we've seen installs from professional companies that aren't, weren't as good. Uh, yeah, right, in the front here, we've oh, got. Oh, come off it, mate, that's unreal. <laughs> So they're colour coded to the vehicle as well, uh, and then yeah, Milan Legend tweet is on the display. Mate, so these, this, this is custom right here. This is yeah, yeah. So that that is actually three D printed as a base, and then it's fiberglass to basically give it curvature and shape. Oh, I've just seen the custom. Wow, yeah. <laughs> bro, come off it. So guys, look, I've got a custom thing in here. There's a controller. So a controller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I've got something. laughs> so this, th what's this going to be able to let so, me do? So this will allow you to adjust sub-level as well as you'll have two different presets. You can adjust volume. All like, through this? All through that gadget there. And you can change the colour and stuff like that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'll set this up then, shall we? And we'll give it yeah. a listen. Say okay, whatever volume you want. Wow. <laughs> Night and day. Yeah, exactly. Night and day. The bass doesn't sound like it's coming from the back. No, no, it's, it's all forward. So that's, that's part of the DSP. We can move sound around the car. That's mad. How, so is that is that using the, the the speakers in the door then to bring it? How does pa that work? Partially. So we'll, we'll load up the computer. I'll show you. So yeah, it's a time delay. So you increase and delay each output that each speaker plays at. So like because that tweeter is it's closer to you. It's very minimal though, isn't it? Yeah, it's very minimal. But like because that tweeter is closer to you than this tweeter, we want to increase the speed in which that plays to land at you at the same rate that that 
lands at you? Because it is physically Physically, closer. there's a difference. So the main problem I had, had before with my sub was that, it, I mean, it worked and it delivered the base, but it was definitely out of time. And the base was after, let's say a, a, base, a base drum hit, the sub would play after the rest of the car because there was no timing involved. I'd literally taken a splice from one of the rear speakers and then that was being amplified into the sub. But now everything gets sum summed into an amplifier yeah. and then from there the subs all the way at the back so it plays before everything else and yeah. therefore it lands here at the yeah. right time like like now you obviously appreciate good sound and anyone that's heard uh, a lot of our a lot of our clients that come in they've got a reference point they've heard decent they've heard something decent right yeah and they go yeah. oh that then they know what doesn't sound good and then this is exactly it you know a car can now sound like this you'll now get in your tesla and go hey. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually interested to do a bit of a side by side, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because I thought the system in the Tesla was pretty decent. And the Teslas actually, to be fair to Tesla, they're not they're not too bad. Um, they're one of the better of the manufacturer range uh, in terms of setups. But again, we still do them because they there's still a difference between this and that. There's not that you can't. What you're saying is you can't basically compare to a custom system yeah. that's been tuned yep. and yeah, yeah, exactly. And so. had the time that you guys have put in. Yeah, which I mean, is a lot of this, big deal, isn't it? Like it is. I mean, we we like to take our time with these things because we we prefer to do a job once and do it right and never and in a. Do you don't want people coming back. No, exactly. <laughs> and we get customers. I mean, we've had customers over the last few weeks while your car's been in from Spain, Abu Dhabi. Um, wow. Southampton, Glasgow. Because there's not many people like you, is there really? There, there, there's a few other companies that do a very good work in terms of car audio and things like that. But obviously, we like to think we do our we are doing on our own way. In your own league, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like it's, that. Um, but yeah, no, there are there are very good installers across the country, and there's a there's a network of them. Um, and but yeah, we obviously have our, our name and our rep because we kind of do what we do. So unreal. Do you want to listen to a different preset? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Let's do that. So to change the preset, yeah, you see on the little joystick controller there. Yeah, the, yeah. If you flick that right, it clicks right. Oh, uh, like push, push it right. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then you go to B. This is a very different sound. Wow. Wow. Then you go back to A. There's a massive difference between the two, right? Oh, you've got used to that. Look, coffee, I'm well, look, well looked after. Okay, so now we're gonna look, okay, right. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the software that's controlling the amplifier. Now this gets really, really techy. We won't, we won't go probably too much, too much into it, but. This here is your overall volume control, so I can turn volume up and volume okay, down. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we were, had it on zero but obviously because we're filming, we've turned it down. And then you've got sub volume control as well. Okay, yeah. Okay. On this little graph, so that's a little graph of the car. And then obviously we're driver focused right hand side. So yeah. when we're doing an international car, we'll be doing it on the left hand side, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steering wheels on the wrong side. So when you're plugged into a computer, the controller gets disabled. Wait, this, 
so. Oh, that was good. That's, 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 that's without the sub. <laughs> you hear the difference? Yeah, 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 yeah. Massive. Yeah. And I'm gonna mute the sub. Wow. And you see, that's that's only playing 80 down. So, so what happens if you change that to 60 then? Is that much of a difference? Uh, on the on these? Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then when you pull the sub back, let it blend it. Yeah, that's a nice blend, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to touch it, mate, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the thing, like, you can, you can do all sorts you can do all sorts with it. Face it. So I've got your, I've got this set up now. Saved as a file. Saved so if I really file. mess it up, I can just import that as a file, and then yep. there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can send, I can send you that, and then Amazing. you can. Amazing. I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. I could literally couldn't be happier. <laughs> Good. Cool. So we're just gonna get your autograph, sir. Autograph. Onto the, onto the, onto the wall of fame. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, we've officially made it <laughs> onto this wall over here. <laughs> so much again, I really appreciate it. Yes! We're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 and a controller as well as an Order Supreme amplifier so you guys at home can upgrade the system in your vehicle as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So help us out, smash that subscribe button and you can be in the chance of winning all this.